January. Yeah, this manager, this manager has done 370 million quid since he's been here. And look at the state of that squad. Even now, with Zinchenko, Jesus, yeah, have a look at that squad, right? Because this window's been dressed up as a seven or eight out of ten at the minute. And if we get a midfielder as a ten, really? Well, Be Becky B was rolling around with the armband on the other day. <laughs> Why is he still here? Yeah, we've got Rob Olding coming out in an interview saying, Oh, well, defenders have come and gone, but I'm still here. Well, yeah, that's because we protected your value about three years ago. <laughs> Shall we? I mean, I've signed you up to a new deal. We've still got El Nenny here on a new deal. Granite Xhaka talking again. What I thought you did, you're talking on the pitch. Yeah, that guy talks more off the pitch than anyone. Yeah, unless you've lost the game and then he don't turn up. Like, he won't come out. They'll send out Saka. <laughs> um, this window, for me, so far, we've signed, we've signed Austin Trusty, Trusty the Process. And he's gone straight on loan. He'll never kick a ball for Arsenal. That was nothing to do with football. That was like, let's open the American market up a bit more. Yeah, real talk. Right? We signed a goalkeeper, um, Turner, who was a massive downgrade on Leno, by the way. Yeah, massive downgrade. So we're weaker in the goalkeeping position straight away. Because as soon as Leno gets his deal to Fulham, we're weaker. Right back. We've got a right back that everyone was lording up to be Tommy Cafu. Yeah, and everyone, I've seen so many people this summer, Terry, right? Sitting there going, I'll oh, get rid of Tierney. He's injury prone. Well, Tierney started more games than Tommy Cafu last season, right? So where's the talk for him? He's been out for six months with a calf strain. What are they made of? Glass. Like, do you know what I mean? Then we've got William Saliba back. That's a big plus. I like him. He's quality. Yeah, and I've been banging the oh, drum that's, for that's him. That's a positive. We've got a positive. Yes. Yeah, we've got like, Woo! <laughs> yeah, we've got William Saliba back. But now, this is what Arsenal fans do. Uh, not all Arsenal fans, but a majority online will sit there and go, oh, well, why don't we put Ben White at right back and put Saliba in with Gabriel at centre? Really? You were gassing up Tommy Cafu, mate. Well, well now Ben White's not good enough to play centre back anymore. I, it's like something new constantly. Yeah, then um, we've signed uh, Zinchenko. And I've, mate, the guy's a good player. Yeah, and I rate him. So clip that as well. That's a positive. Yeah, I rate both him and Jesus. And the way our fans and the media and the club have like gassed this lot up, it's come, on, mate. If if they were top, top, top players, like elite level players, Man City wouldn't have let them go. Let's be real with that. Yeah, let's just be real with that. They're better than what we had, but that's only because we allowed Abamyang to go and paid for him to play for Barca. And Lacazette just couldn't be asked anymore. Yeah, and then we've got Kieran Tierney, who I think is class, but then the backup is Tavaj who this manager signed, by the way, and our fans are going, oh, get rid of him, get rid of him. Well, who signed him? So now it's Zinchenko. Oh, he's amazing. He can play midfield. He can do this. He can do that. Okay, so is he going in over Granite Xhaka then? No, no, he ain't getting in over him. Is he getting in over Party then? No, he ain't getting in over him. Well, if Tierney's fit, where's he playing then? Yeah, like, yes, it's depth, yeah. it's squad depth. But for me, I'm being straight up with this, Terry. Yeah? For me, we need a right back. Yeah, because Tommy Asu ain't the man. I said if, I said this last season. Brandon said it as well on here. Yeah, he said he ain't he ain't great. And I've, I've been saying it for months. He ain't great, right? Bellerin's not good enough and Cedric ain't good enough. So there's three right backs we've got that ain't good enough. We need a right back, mm. right? We need another midfielder, like a destroyer in midfield because we can't rely on Thomas Party. The guy's injured quite a lot, yeah? But we should have gone for Basuma. But Arsenal fans are telling me he's rubbish now. Okay, cool. And we need an attacking midfielder that a bag 15 goals a season. And we probably need another striker because if Jesus gets injured, we're going with Eddie and Ketia up front. How are people sitting there hyping that up as an eight out of 10 winder? We ain't got all the, all the ones we need. Yeah, and if you compare that to then Tottenham, um, even Man United, yeah, they've got all of these clubs have got better managers, by the way. Right. So they've all got a, a starting berth because they've got the better managers. But now they, apart from Man United, they finished above us last season, and now Man United are going out and getting players as well with a better manager. And what have we done? We've signed um, the the, Port the Portuguese Kim Kalstrin. <laughs> the guy's in a protective boot. Oh, it's a it's a precaution, really. He's been injured since June. He's got a fractured bone in his in his foot. He ain't even training. Yeah. Then we've signed two Americans that are just not good enough. One ain't even here anymore. Then we've signed. Jesus, good player, but we need another one up front as well. And then we've signed Zinchenko, who's a good player. And people are hyping this up as a, like an eight out of ten window. What are they talking about? 